Here's another converge or diverge question for an infinite series. And this time we're going to use the limit comparison test. So if we're going to use the limit comparison test, we have to remember what that tells us. That tells us for two series that are positive, if you take the limit as n goes to infinity of the ratio of those and get a, a positive finite limit, then the series do the same thing. So sometimes you have to be creative in how you're going to make this become a finite positive limit. And if you just look at part the part of the series n over n plus one, if you took the limit as n goes to infinity of n over n plus one, we know that's one. So that's a pretty simple limit to do. So let's get rid of the two over n minus one. In other words, let's, what I'm thinking is if we can do a limit comparison test of this series and this series, well, the two to the n minus ones will cancel out and we'll get a finite limit and then we'll have an answer so the key though is we'd have to know what this does well the fact that it's two to the n minus one is making me think that maybe it's and hopefully it's a geometric series. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring that two up and negate its exponent. That's an infinity. And then by rules of exponents, this would be two to the first times 2 to the negative n. I want that to be positive n, so why don't we just do this? 2 to the first times 1 over 2 to the n. That should do. Was that the most direct way to get from here to here? I'm not sure. I haven't thought about it. If you can take a more direct way, that's fine. But as long as everything mathematically was good, uh, this looks good. And we know this is a geometric series. We also know that since r is less than 1, that this is a convergent geometric series. So now we're good to go. Now I know the answer. So just to make it more formal, we're going to take the limit as n goes to infinity of this series divided by this series, which is this, and dividing is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. We can now cancel these out, like we said before. And we know that this limit is going to be 1. That's an easy limit. That is a finite positive number. So both series do the same thing. We already said that the series we compared it to is a convergent geometric seri series. Thus, this must also be a convergent series. And there you have it.